guys, so this is another edition of filler or filler. You see how I'm happy because today I have more filler to give you. Till you can pass it then. I'm not in your books. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so today we have we are prepared with more filler to give you. Be happy as well. Kindly share this for others to watch and follow us on all our social media handles at one play africa please comment as well so today i have i have gambo in the story the unsung artist of the year is in the story Papi Gojo is in the story when the Shea is also celebrating her four year anniversary in the music industry so we'll be bringing all this it's stories to you now okay we started i feel like you are delayed and i'm if you're just or the opposite whichever way there is this beef going on Delay and if you are so as nigga, now a bloody Charlie, a so bloody ma. MPs now have hopped in to come and share their quota, but a man to let them fight because whoever you think is the who's on and who in your songs are two people are insulting each other. So, why are you insulting the other person for insulting the other person <laughs> in, a, in a more painful way? Allow them to all do what they want to do because yo, Charlie, this fight. You know me, but one it's thing I want to ask me is what I want. <laughs> but I think one that I am a bit interested is somebody is calling a certain person in the this whole fight ex. My question is, is that person that that man not married? If he is married, <laughs> how is his wife going to feel when somebody else is calling Nikunu ex? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> like oh, like. If, if you say also, because I'm not sure this man has married just two years ago. He's been married, I'm sure, for a long time. So at what point did you come in that you became an ex? <laughs> 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 okay. Yeah. Nice. So let's move to our first story. This is from Wendy She, mm -hmm. and she's actually saying that exactly four years today, I released my first ever song, Uber Driver, and it was a bang. The journey hasn't been easy, but I am a survivor. Oh, okay. I'm still on the road to greatness. Thanks to God, Rough Town Records, and the Shea Gang for being part of the Golden Milestone. Congratulations to her, Charlie. To be in a particular industry here in Ghana and be consistent for four years with all the madness and the pain she has seen, and she's still going on giving up. Congratulations to her. However, someone like Wendy Shea has harbored a lot of hate in the in the span of four years. Now, initially when she came, she got to love and hate at the same time. And then over a time, the love dwindled and then the hate became real, like in your face. And it looked because as though she sort of was replacing somebody in Tino or not so and whole crammer whom Brazilian or take it pain. Um, but when the share has been able to accumulate hate and pain for so long, now she her 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 tone of voice, her music and stuff is tilted towards people hate me. That people love her. But I just want to encourage her with this celebration that she's having that she's been able to be in the system for this long and consistent because critically she has more lovers than haters. And whether they come at you as haters. They still end up going to make your songs number one on certain platforms, which is why you are still relevant in the game now. So, in as much as yes, she has overcome a lot and she's still on the road and all, she so try and channel her energy differently because it's like now she is more focused on the hate in the industry and how she can use every creative piece or tweet to tackle such hate. The level of when the share Uber driver now is not the same. She's big and all, but it's not the same. She is in a more painful place now as an artist or as a creative. It reflects in her tweets, her songs, and the way she her women have when it means when the share as perform her body language cry tells you that she feels everybody around her doesn't like him. She should try and get out of it. If the team too can get her a psychologist or somebody that can talk out of that thing, because four years the kind of milestone she has achieved, it's not hate, it is love that puts people like that there. So she should see the things from that point of view, and I think she can go further than what she even thinks she can do. Congrats to her. Wow. Okay, so to Papi Kojo, yes, actually, <laughs> Papi Koko. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Papi Sidney, Papi Sidney. 
he's saying that so those of you believing in God, the God is actually with a smudge. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> and asking me for Mumono, let's have a dialogue. Uh -huh. Is it because what you believe in can't give you money or what? What is going on here with Papi, Papi Koko? <laughs> I feel like um, Papi Kojo, right now, I, 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 I can't put my hand on the kind of things he does online because he's doing a lot of things. He's involved in a lot of battles. So you can't put your hand on him. I don't know if that is what he wants to do. But he's involved in too many battles, so you can't see a clear cut for him. Do you get it? I don't know if you understand where I'm coming from. I know she's involved in he's involved in this LGBTQ battle, yeah, yeah, yeah. involved in it to be a one else battle at the same time, involved with this thing that he's saying, right? religion and something happening yeah. all the time. There's a lot of battle around him, so it's difficult to track what he is doing. And which conversation he's actually putting out at each, set, at each point in time. But whatever the case, I'm sure he, he has a reason for whatever he's doing. So Muslims that are <laughs> Muslims and Christians that are asking Papi Kojo for money, I don't know what he's trying to say, but he didn't say G, capital G, yes. God. So it's not a God yeah. that I'm thinking. So yeah, let's just leave it. <laughs> okay. So this is from Sammy Flex. Uh -huh. And he's also saying that many are scared to start. Too many are not ready to introduce something new. When someone does it, they all chance, they all chase them. Mm -hmm. I pray, I pray many showbiz platform learn how to introduce new voices in the game like I have done. I thank God for the continuous success of the few I introduced. I think, first of all, people like Sammy Flex have to be baked up and celebrated in the industry because it is not easy to want to put your bets on somebody that they are not, you are not too sure of them, what they will say and what they will not say, and then say that, you know what, I have a big platform. I have worked over the years. I've gotten my numbers, but I'm going to share that platform with you for you to come and speak on as an amateur or not because mind you there are lots of platforms here people go for dishes at all this media i don't know go for this not they apply do you see new faces and new voices on their platforms mm -hmm. most of them they are afraid to take that chance on young people because truthfully young people are saying you're correct and you want some so for you to meet somebody that constantly wants to put a new voice on and then try and see where their future goes um, i mean he has a good track record of doing that for a lot of people. He hasn't been doing this, this and you know, why you don't like the woman real comment that simul and all these people they are relevant to the industry now. Their roles are, are seen, they are doing things. So if we had like say 10 or let's say one of some flex in each of the big media houses that have a say that you know what, my show I'll put I'll try at least once a year I'll introduce a new voice in it. I think the industry would have probably morphed and changed from its old ways in a lot of things because young people have new ideas. And obviously, where the more they do the thing, the more they get conversant with the dynamism of the space. But a lot more people, they will prefer somebody to go man on the porch, you know, when they come. They think that somebody should use their field. However, I think for some family, that is he to what is making him extremely relevant in the space. Because the talent you won't go to, it's not just talent like me, like what he did for me. Artists, some flex discovery, it's not easy. Like, <laughs> but actually, the first time I read that, she was flex TV. Wow. These people, he does it for them. The artists, so to him, no, he goes with new brands all the time. So he's going to actually wait for a very long time because he's always bringing the new voice, the new face, the new art, you get it. Mm -hmm. And people like that should be cherished because as I said, if every media house, the big, big ones, had one of such person on one of their shows, just one of their entire week show, one person taking a chance on a younger person, the industry will be much better than it is now. Mm -hmm. Trust me. Mm -hmm. Okay, so to the unsung artist of the year. Sang Kwane the hell. <laughs> okay, so Yoko also tweeted this to me. I am the best trapper alive. If if you know the bab, go bend the sea. Yeah, I agree with him. To him, 
Yeah, I agree. <laughs> to him. Uh, it's somebody's opinion. To me, I'm it's the best yeah, presenter, Charlie. So you can't bore. Yeah. I said to me, yeah. I look at my catalog. I'm the best. <laughs> I'm the best, bro. So now the best are you. <laughs> 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 but to you you are the best it is true it means that you are confident in your skills because to put words together and make a song is not easy yeah. so if he thinks that he has been able to put one or two together and he loves it his fans love it because if people didn't like it he wouldn't win and sang so artists. he has fans that like it he has guests that like it guests 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 yeah, that like it. So Charlie, yes, to him he's the best. And every rapper that gets the platform can go on and say to them they are the best. Because you are in the game not to be second to anybody, but to be the first to everybody. Well, you are the best. Okay, Okay, so thanks so much for watching this episode. Please share to others to watch as well and follow us on all our social media handles at Leki Elipa and at Nalav Nairam. Don't forget to follow One Play Africa. Thanks so much. One play, one play, one play. Add class to your music.